But guys, I heard this stat. Connor, maybe you could prove it. Something about the Lions with when Jared Goff throws five picks. Oh, no. God, you son, son of a bitch. You, had you mother. Oh, okay, you Jake. son of a bitch. I, I, the amazing stat, though, is this a true stat that he's th- he's done four more picks seven times and he's won every single one of those games? Is yes. that real? Yep, 7-0. and oh. That's wild. I mean, that's why stats are for what, what Big Mike used to say, age. Stats for losers. <laughs> <laughs> Connor, uh, we all. Yeah, fell into look, a okay. There's a new Barry McCockner in his. I don't know what his <laughs> full Mr. name Siv. is. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Siv. 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 He, he got me. And, and to be completely clear, um, this son of a bitch has like 40,000 followers. So it wasn't as if it was just some <laughs> random schlub. And he had a, a very, very well photoshopped from StatMuse <laughs> underneath that tweet about him being 6 0. It is not true. I, I guess uh, Jared Goff is 1 and 1. You got to look out for the son of a bitch, Mr. Siv. He's, wow. he's good at what he does. He, he is on his way to being McCockner 2.0. I got the uh, a lot of respect for him. Granted, he kept me up till like 2 a.m., pissed off at myself last night for getting me. But look, hats off to the guy. That's that's a great Photoshop. That's a great stat because Goof has done kind of believable. Of, he, he's done a lot of shit like that. So if you told me that Jared Goff had that type of stat line, I'd say, you know what, the son of a bitch is probably right. He probably did do that, but he didn't. He's one and one in games where he's throwing four plus picks. Okay? Well, and it, I found it as he was saying, it's seven games. This guy's throwing four picks. That's, that's a lot of. Yeah. That's twenty eight interceptions. Yeah. But in seven, but then you start thinking to yourself, like, well, as it's all happening in real time, and Aaron Rodgers is stating it. So I'm like. Yeah, maybe. Wait, yeah, maybe he did. That's wild stat. That is a wild stat. Like, the community did notes. Bench him. Yeah, uh, well, community notes, I guess, is more. And I like the way he tweeted, it's how easy it is <laughs> to spread fake information. It's like, you're in the football world. You got a lot of followers. Asshole. Good at it on the entire thing. And community notes, I guess, this isn't trying to catch up with McCockner 2.0. It, it is community noted now. Now, as of this morning. okay, we need that. Thanks, we God. need that. <laughs> Thanks, Jage. I hope you're happy. Bitch. I hope you're happy, Jage. Uh, let's talk. Yeah, about- I was just curious. I just want to know if it was true or not. You know, I hadn't seen it, and I'm just curious if it was true. And it was nice to have backup from Connor. I figured he's the guy to go to. I know, so, exactly. I mean, Aaron tossed it out there yeah. as like, uh, is this true? And then it was just a heart. Yep, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And, and that's not good. We, we got to get better. But now this this – Siv is on our radar. Mm-hmm. Okay, the Siv is on our radar. I can't take oh, that's anything. a one-time shot. He took his shot. Yeah. And it worked. Yeah. I mean, it worked. He actually said, stay tuned. I got some good stats for this upcoming Sunday. Okay, so. Siv, we know you're a McCockner now, which we did not know. And that's good. Hey, congrats, Siv. That's on us, though. We need to be a little bit more attention to detail. Uh, obviously, we don't like giving out any misinformation, but let's talk about a five-interception game, one of them being on a Hail Mary at the end of the half and then them winning. How do you feel about the Lions? And then, obviously, massive game for them this weekend. What are your thoughts on the Detroit Lions? They're winning when they're not supposed to. That's a that's a dangerous team. Oh, they're a very dangerous team. There's no denying it, especially in a game like that where you look at the first half and nothing is going their way, and you're like, oh, this one's just kind of out of it. Um, but you're never out of it when Dan Campbell's your coach and they handle things the way they do. Um, obviously, from my side, from Texan's side, it's very difficult. I had a stat that I had to personally look up to make sure that I was right on. Uh, but the Texans have not scored a second-half touchdown five of the last six games. Uh, that is a problem. And when you have a team like Detroit on the ropes like that, up 23-7 to seven in the third quarter, you have to close them out. Uh, you have to find a way. And it was a crazy game. Like, it was, you could say it was a sloppy game in that there's so many interceptions. Obviously, it was all back and forth. But it was a very fun game to watch uh, as a Texans fan, not at the end, but – a very fun game to watch the back and forth. Yeah, and the Lions and Jared Goff, the way they handled it afterwards, like Goff still spoke to the team in the locker room. It wasn't like he was embarrassed of his performance. It was like, hey, we move on. We got mm-hmm. the win. They have the right mindset. They seem to be a mature team. 